Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. This experiment is to show that without capacitance on the top, you didn't see this moving. Pretty much any turn, turning was because the uh, it's a conductor, so the sparks came across and actually from it being in the field in the ionic field uh, it had little streamers coming out of it anyway like little um little waiting for that side to come over it's like a two two thing party i would call it now let's go ahead and put let's put little capacitance on the top now of course when you put capacitance on the top you're unbalancing the system so in this part of the system, uh, the relationship is between, uh, it's about timing. So uh, where uh, this was on how many turns out, because the connection of the, of the other half is here. So you're looking at one, two, three, four turns out. And that was to find resonance in the coil itself. And this coil is, uh, 490 kilohertz that's what I'm humming with right now and I'm using two four six seven beer bottles and um, for capacitance and they're about a nano farad each and I'm using 15,000 volt 60 milliamp neon sign transformer it's uh, center tapped, current limited, and the way this works is uh, 7,500 on one side, 7,500 on the other side, and um, uh, they both wrote, they both flip on which one's the positive and which one's the negative. So if you look at what's going on here at the primary, the basically it's a washing machine. So it, one second, this is the positive and this is the negative, And then this is the, you know, they're out of phase from each other. So you got this washing machine effect, like agitating. And the electro uh, magnetic field here puts out at the bottom rim of this coil. And it's, it, it does come up because the field is like this coming out around the whole coil. So it goes out around and comes loops back up. So there is a ground plane. So from the bottom of this coil has a field coming out and coming around. So uh, having this off the ground, a certain amount, a certain distance does matter when you deal with the ground. So obviously you see that uh, I've been, on my past videos, um, been tapping into the ground and seeing some cool stuff. And I've been showing some of this stuff to you, but there's a lot more cooler stuff. So um, follow me, okay? So uh, now we're gonna add capacitance. So what we're showing here is now we're gonna have a rotation that's in this inductor, okay? Or conductor. And uh, there becomes a rotation. So question to you, I just like to tease you guys' minds. Uh, why is the electrostatic of the capacitor plates? Now think about this. One side of this is the negative, one side is the positive. This is positive coming out of the top of this coil. But in this electrostatic, it, it well, it, it's a conductor plate. No, so there is no negative here. It's just all positive. So my bad. So this is a plate. So there really needs to be a yin for the yang. So that plate is bouncing to the ground. So the ground becomes the other plate. This is the negative plate. And this is the, um, the positive plate. So you're gonna see a vortex happening. And I believe um, it has something to do with the fact 
of the curvature of the toroid and as well um, that uh, it's sending out the same uh, uh, pulse radiationally uh, in the omni sense, like OMI, uh, omni, meaning it's one coming from the center and then just comes out and goes everywhere equally. So that, I believe that's part of the reason you will see in the vortex. So let's go ahead and I am going to fire this up now. And I'm going to move it up and down. distracted there so it's unbalanced now that we put a capacitor plate up top uh, between that and the primary it's unbalanced so it's about timing so right now um, this is uh, I believe up too close so you can hear it screeching over here at the the spark app so let's go out let's go out to let's see what happens there so right now we're going to slow the timing down okay that's definitely not tuned. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going the wrong way. I'm thinking I need to be real close. But I may be wrong too. Let's see if we have any action. Little hard one hand. Uh, oh well. I just grabbed any top load, so you got to match the capacitance, the surface area of the top load to tell you how much capacitance. Oh yeah. 